It's awfully quiet in here, right? And that's because basically everything is off, minus my two 170 HXs, my 40 series rig, CPUs, my four, five of my ASICs are on, and my Warthog machine. Everything else is off. And the reason it's off is because all of my 30 series GPUs are off, and all of my 100-210s are off, as well as the BC250s. I've got a lot of 3070s that are surprisingly worth more than I paid, and right now it seems like the perfect time to get rid of them. And that's the last time you'll see my shed, just to give you a backdrop of why I have so many of these GPUs. And as you can see, the 30 series, it's incredible that it started at $500 in 2020. Now, obviously, we all know that a lot of people paid a lot more than that, but it is almost 2025, and the 3070 is still going for, for as much as it is. The average price for a 3070 right now is about $270, which is awesome, especially considering that I paid about $200 for the majority of mine when I bought them in 2022 right after the Ethereum crash. So it seems like the perfect time to sell these and their little brother, the 3060 Ti's. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the process of taking out all of those GPUs, how I clean them, what my strategies are to try to list them for sale, and if any have sold or not. And we're gonna do this, I don't know how regularly we're gonna update this video. It really just depends on how much progress I do in a week or two. If I have a week where there's insane amount of progress, we'll release another episode or even a few days. And if not, we will uh, wait a few days. So there's really gonna be no rhyme or reason to this. I just wanna get this first video out to show you my goal. So like I said, I have to sell about 65 GPUs, give or take. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so here are the first batch of GPUs that I am listing on today's video, and we're going to see how they sell. We've got two founders. I plan on listing these for between 290 and 3 something. I'm going to list this one not on eBay and this one on eBay. I'm going to list this one obviously higher on eBay. We've got a 3060 Ti that's actually mislabeled as a 3070 if I take this tape off, which is kind of funny. You can see right here, it's actually 3070, but it's a 3060 Ti. Uh, it has, it, it's been mining for a while. Uh, you can kind of tell it's a little beat up, but I tested it thoroughly on my testing setup. Basically, I've got a GPU here, which I'll get to in a second. I use these two as test benches. One is mostly for 1080p, the other one's for 1440p, but I thoroughly stress test them on benchmarks and I run games on them. And this one did fine. It's got one working display port and a working HDMI port. So I'll definitely sell this for a discount, but I should be fine, do all right on it. And then I've got this broken Gigabit 30, or Gigabyte 3060. Um, I don't know what's wrong with it, but I'll list it for something. I'm running out of broken GPUs and they've actually been selling really well. I was basically sent this broke to try to fix it, but I don't think it's worth the time for me to fix it. So I'm just gonna list it. And then I've got a 3070 over here that gets voltage but it's not found in the G in the um, computer it was working for a while and then it stopped it's basically the last failed 3070 that i have um it's not showing up in the device manager actually you can see right here it's just the 4080 so that's annoying i tested it on my mining test bench as well um so i'm going to list it as broken as always i explain what's wrong with them and then i sell these with no returns they move pretty fast actually so i'm going to list that one too so we're going to list these five today and we're going to see how they sell and i'll come back when uh, i have the results of how these ones sold first of four cases open i'm not going to talk about the cases or anything like that i want to talk about the 3070s now these three i can definitely sell these uh, you could I could tell the EVGAs which were mined on quite a bit and that weren't as long as they have working all their ports work I'm fine with it. Sometimes if they have corrosion, I sell them for a little bit less It really just depends, uh, but I stress everything this one. I will not be able to sell this was a Zotac I ripped off the shroud as it was awful So it depends on how many GPUs like this where I basically can only sell to miners because I, I think I want to keep one rig, but the question is, is it a six card rig? Is it an eight card rig? Or is it a 12 card rig? So we're going to get all of these out and we're going to start testing them and we're going to list them. The goal is 
you know, if it's like an average 3070, I'm going to probably list it for a price that I know will move it a little bit faster because I do want to try to get all of these out probably as fast as possible, but not to the point where I'm willing to bulk sell them. Now I paid $200 or less for all of these. So uh, I think these ones were like 215, but either way, I will make a profit on basically every one with the exception of this one. So we're going to go ahead and get these taken out and we're going to sort them into maybe yes and no. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that with all of the cases, but I'll probably just do one at a time first and we'll, we'll test them and we'll go from there. The goal now is I got the server case out. I'm not going to take all of them out at the same time because when you list more GPUs at, at once, people start lowballing you. They think that they can get a bulk deal. So I only like to list two or three at the same time. Like I can list one of these, one of these, and one of these. And then, you know, I still have the founders. The two founders haven't sold yet. This is like two days after I listed them. So I can also add those to listings. I have to do a medium, a low end, and a high end one. Or maybe what I'll also do is I'll take that 12 card 3060 Ti rig apart and I'll list a 3070 and a 3060 Ti every day. You can make a post a lot of places I go every 24 hours and I'll probably list some of these higher end models on eBay to see if they uh, sell faster because there's, you know, and I'll, I'll probably leave like an XT3 listing on eBay as well. And then as it sell like as it sells, I'll list another one or maybe I'll put more than one available. As long as they're like tip top condition ones, a lot of options, but I only want to do one rig at a time just in case that something happens. And for like a week, 37 needs are profitable again. I'll mine with them. We're going to go ahead and get these tested and we'll go from there. All right. So you can see we're testing two 3070s right now. Everything is working great. No issues. Let me pull up the CPU Z. You can see everything is perfect. So these two are good to go to sell pretty happy about that these ones are already listed these two are broken these are founders now the founders aren't selling as fast i think i'm just going to leave them listed for the prices they are and someone will buy them when they buy them i really don't want to go low on these and these are broken ones broken ones either sell really fast or they don't i had like probably like eight broken ones that i sold like like really fast and some of them were able to be fixed some of them weren't uh, for me, it's just not worth the time to sell them. I, you know, I paid, oh, I paid like 160 to 170 for some of these new, and when they died, selling them broken for like 110, it's whatever. It's not that much of a loss, honestly. So I don't mind just moving on from them and being done with it because time is money. So we're gonna go ahead and get these two out, and we're gonna list them, and we're gonna list a few other ones too, and I'm gonna come back and give you an update and let you know how they went. And when I do test my GPUs for selling. I stress them pretty well, and I have two benches that I'm able to go look, and I've never had a problem with the GPU that I've tested. So when you buy it from me, you know, you don't have problems, basically. And if you do, I work with you, and we get them fixed. Which, again, I maybe had like three issues in the last probably like 100 or so GPUs I've sold. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pull these two off, and I'll come back in it with another update as I test some more. So these two... They're on, and I know they work because every GPU that I have left works minus one, and they're not showing up, which means I think I need to fix the BIOS on these. And I'll sh long story short, I sold a GPU to a fellow YouTuber and a buddy, and he's like, "Dude, these aren't working." And I'm like, "Man, they work." And I, you know, I said I will totally swap it out for you. He's like, "No, I think you're right. I think there's something wrong." And he found out that there's a BIOS issue that uh, on the EVGA XC3, some of the later BIOSes cause an issue, and when you roll it back to the, an older one, it fixes it. So I have a feeling that's what's wrong with both of these. So we're gonna turn them off, and we're gonna go 1v1, one by one. We're gonna go ahead and flash the BIOS on these, and hope that solves the problem. And look, I know that some of these don't have working display ports, and I think I have another issue to fix those, but I'm going to take the ones that are the worst case and we're going to put them on, a, put them aside and designate them to sell to miners. Or maybe, like I said, I'm debating on keeping a rig. We'll, uh, we'll see. So we're going to go ahead and fix these right now or try to fix them right now. Reverse of when I have problem GPUs, two that are testing what looks to be pretty perfectly. Yep, these are perfect. I'm going to run them for maybe 10 more minutes just to make sure, but these two look perfect. Um... I'm probably going to list one of these, 
on eBay since I already have one on Hardware Swap. I don't like to, you know, if I have more than one, I'll list it in more than one place and see which where it sells first. Basically, obviously, you got to put it up for hire. And I might try out Java.gg as well. And we're going to probably list this one on Hardware Swap, I think. People kind of like these higher end ones. So I will go ahead and get that one up today, probably as well. All right, so that's it for the first episode. To give you a recap, I had uh, four GPUs, th th sorry, three GPUs that I was already listing that I had left over before I decided to start going crazy on this, and I had taken apart one server case. So here are the results so far. I sold one of those GPUs and one of the 3070s from the first case I took apart. I have five that I, or I have five 3070s that I have listed in various locations waiting to sell. I've got three that are mining only, which I may list or I may hold on to right now. We'll see, or I may keep some of them. And I have one that I think might have issues that I have to troubleshoot. So that's it for this one. Again, if you are actually interested in buying any of these, you can shoot me a DM on Discord. You can join my Discord. Don't lowball me though, as I'm, I have no problem selling these singly. But if you're interested in buying one or two or three, maybe I'd be willing to knock a few bucks off. We'll see. And if you're interested in these ones, I am flexi more flexible in the price of the mining specific ones. Anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video series, I think the market will allow me to sell the majority of these. And if I fail, you know, I have I don't I have some GPUs left. But I think I think I if I succeed, it'll be really good for me in the farm. And I think I can put a lot of these in the hands of gamers or even miners, and if you guys have questions on the, the process of mass selling GPUs, the testing process, what I'd look to avoid, you know, I can also answer those in the comments, or I can talk more about those in the next video. But this video series, I think it'll be a lot of fun. It'll go about showing you how a miner or just someone who has GPUs goes about selling them, and you know, this is the time of year to take advantage of a, a market that would more that would be more in demand than normal. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns in the comments. See you on the next one. Peace out.